Hi guys, Micro here. This is my video on the new AFK skilling nodes of God Wars Dungeon 3 with the Croesus Front. These nodes require level 88 and in order to do them when they're enriched, it requires level 92. So I went and gave them a try and wanted to see if they were good or dead content or whatever. And I wanted to compare them to other things of similar levels and, you know, the most efficient things to do to see if they, you know, can keep up. So let's get right into it. Starting out, we've done some hunter, and this is like a semi-AFK hunter method, but it's not AFK enough in my opinion. None of these new nodes are quite AFK enough in my opinion. You actually fight over resources with other people, so if you're skilling with others, they can deplete your resource unless it's enriched. Enriched lasts like 30 seconds, and then it's done. Every other node lasts for a certain amount of resource, and then it's depleted. I really like the mining and smithing update because you don't deplete the resources anymore, but here they went back to depleting, which I don't really understand. I preferred it when you don't fight over it and you just had a solid amount of time of AFK. So you get AFK sometimes like 10 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, and it was very random, but it really wasn't AFK at all. And I never had a point where I AFK'd more than like 30, 40 seconds at Hunter specifically. And then a couple of the others that are a little bit more AFK, like woodcutting, I would AFK for up to about a minute which still isn't that amazing when you compare it to crystal trees and golden bamboo and stuff like that. So for Hunter specifically, say that it's about 30 seconds of AFK, which makes it a semi-AFK training method, I was getting about 500,000 experience an hour by using best in slot everything. All of my XP rates here will be like the maximum you can push with like the elite outfits, with urns, urn enhancer, Things like the Yatui stick or augmented tools, etc. So it'll be like the highest XP rates you can get of what I'm testing. And I'm going to be comparing it with the higher end XP rates of different methods of these skills as well. Big Game Hunter is not AFK at all, but if you're doing tier 3 dinosaurs on raw, you can push a million experience an hour. If you're doing it off of raw, you can still push a good 800k experience an hour. So the XP is a lot better for Big Game Hunter. Although, you do obviously have the fact that this is semi-AFK. So if we're looking at a semi-AFK method that's good for Hunter, we can look at Charming Moths. Charming Moths are in the wilderness, and so you do need a Demonic Skull, so you may get PK'd at times. But they are 800 to 900k Hunter experience an hour, and you also get 150k Agility XP on top of that. So that is an insane amount of XP for a semi-AFK method that is just as AFK as this one. It's just not in the wilderness here. So I mean, if you want to sacrifice nearly half your XP to not be in the wilderness, then I guess it's okay. But overall, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Hunter XP that you get here, especially when Protean traps exist and stuff like that. There's so many better alternatives for Hunter. I wouldn't really recommend training it here. Next up is fishing, and fishing is probably the best experience an hour out of all of the ones here. Level 88 fishing, and you can push up to 185,000 experience an hour, which is actually really, really decent for fishing in particular. Because you really don't have that much at level 88, and until Prif at 93, there really isn't anything that competes with this. The lower level urchins are around the same experience as this. If you have the elite outfit, if you're using urns, everything like that, right? If you're getting top XP rates, you can push about this on the low and the mid tier urchins. If you go to the high tier urchins, you can push a bit over 200k experience an hour. So Prif Waterfall Fishing is still better XP. But for the level, for the 88-92, it's really decent. The only issue I have again is again fighting for resources, making it a bit less AFK than something like Waterfall Fishing. So it's decent, but not perfect. Overall, definitely a good fishing method in order to bridge that gap between stuff like Menaphos and Minos and Prif. So it bridges that middleman, which I like. Very good here. This one is good. Next up, we have the woodcutting spot. And honestly, I think the woodcutting is kind of dead content. Because if you do overgrown idols, which are level 80, I'm pretty sure you can push about 125k experience an hour on those. And I was only pushing 110k here. And these are 88 and 92, right? So there would be no point in even moving from overgrown idols, even when you hit those levels, because you're getting more XP there. Unless potentially the stuff you're gathering is worth a little bit of money in the long run because of the soups and the pots that they make, as they will be helpful for the boss encounter but I really don't see this stuff being too expensive and it probably is not worth your time. If you want to make money, woodcutting elder logs right now are very good, so they'd probably be better. 
If you're looking at the alternative at 94, you have Crystal Trees, which can push like 170k experience an hour. And then you've got Crystallized Acadia, which can push way over 300k experience an hour, even at 80, alongside Golden Bamboo at 96, pushing over 300k experience an hour. This is just not very good. Sadly, mining also falls under the same category as woodcutting. There are better alternatives at around the same level. It's just not that great. I was getting 115k mining experience an hour. Again, it's semi-AFK. It's probably just as AFK as hitting rock opportunities kind of thing. And if you're going to do rock opportunities at level 90, you can just do light or dark animica. And you can push up to 300k experience an hour there with like best in slot setups. So you get way more XP there. And then the AFK methods are more XP than this. You've got Alea Crablets on the Ark that are like 250k an hour. And you also have Seren Stones, which are a bit over 200k an hour. So all of these alternatives, even the AFK ones, are better XP than this. At 88 slash 92, 115k mining experience an hour just seems so little. Definitely not great. And that'll be it for this video. Just a quick one, breaking down the XP rates and comparing them to other methods of all of the new nodes. Hopefully you did enjoy. Give the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. For loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3. And until next time, see ya.